G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. And today, me and Slug here want to talk to you about the inland taipan, the most venomous snake on earth. So stay tuned, guys. It's dangerous. Take all Wicked Wildlife encounters. This is totally our pretty girl here is Slug, one of our inland taipans here at Wicked Wildlife. And uh, despite being famous for being the most venomous snake on earth, these guys have another few cool features that make them a, a really interesting snake. And one of them is actually their story of discovery. So this species was actually discovered in 1879 by a bloke by the name of Frederick McCoy in Victoria, up near Mildura. Now he found two individual animals and they actually labelled these guys as the small scale brown snake. They didn't know that they were a taipan at the time. Now it was a few years later, where 800 kilometres away out near Burke, another two animals was found by another herpetologist, and they were identified as a different snake again. So after they discovered these uh, animals out in Mildura and out in Burke, uh, they were basically identified as a type of brown snake. It wasn't until 1896, another Australian zoologist uh, I reclassified these guys again as a black snake, of all things. Despite not actually having seen one alive himself, he was studying preserved specimens, these three animals that had been collected and taken to museums. So interestingly, it took another 76 years after the discovery of one of these guys out in Burke before anybody would find any more. And that was in the case of 13 individual taipans that were found on a station out in the channel country of far southwest Queensland. These animals were collected and studied, and in 1981, people finally realised that these guys were so closely related to the already known coastal taipan that these guys got the name that they have today, Oxuranus microlepidotus, taipan with small scales. And from there on is the small scaled snake or the fierce snake that we know today. Another interesting point is these first two locations they were discovered, Mildura in Northwest Victoria and Burke out in Western New South Wales, there's never actually been a proven sighting of an inland taipan there again. In fact, they're actually listed as regionally extinct, both in Victoria and New South Wales. So they're basically found out in the corner country where Northern Territory, Queensland and South Australia all meet. Now if you've ever been out to that part of the world, it's pretty desolate country and there's not a great deal of vegetation. And in fact these guys spend the vast majority of their time sheltering in disused rat burrows and cracks in the soil where it's so hot that the ground just cracks open. And that's where this guy spends his time hiding, escaping from the heat, escaping from predators. You wouldn't think the most venomous snake in the world has predators, but Parentes, the biggest lizard in the country, and the king brown snake love to eat these guys. They also use these little cracks and hollows to find their favourite food. And that's a couple of native species of rats. One of the facts that I find the most interesting about this girl though, is that uh, these are one of the only venomous snakes that I can think of that actually change colour. Out where they live, it gets so hot in summer that they turn this nice yellow colour. They don't need to be nice and dark and absorb any heat. But come winter time, they actually turn dark brown, which helps them absorb heat more readily and get about their day. But the feature, of course, that everybody wants to hear about is how venomous these guys are. And this girl here happens to be the most venomous snake on earth. Drop for drop, her venom is more potent than any other snake that we know and have tested. One bite from an inland taipan has enough venom to kill well over 100 adult men or 250,000 mice. Which kind of makes sense. You see, people imagine that venom is designed for self-defense. And, and it does have a purpose in that regard. But it's really designed to catch their food. And these guys eat mice and rats. So of course their venom is gonna work very well on mice and rats. It just so happens that we're mammals and they're mammals. So a mouse eating reptile is gonna have venom that works very well on people as well. There is a bit of a myth however, that this girl comes in number two to a sea snake, the Belcher's sea snake, in terms of toxicity. And this is largely because of a book that was published quite some time ago. However, what they've actually realized is in this book, when we've measured how venomous the snakes are, they've lumped together snakes that were tested in several different manners. The taipan, and most snake bites, particularly in Australia, was measured by injecting the venom into mice subcutaneously, which means under the skin. And there was this study done on Belcher's sea snakes where the venom was injected intramuscularly, so straight into the mouse. And as a result, it needed much less venom to do the job and kill the mouse. So it appeared to be more venomous. However, it's kind of like comparing apples with rocks. Now, the Belcher sea snake has never been tested subcutaneously like a taipan, but it has a, there has been other sea snakes measured that same way that are more venomous than the Belcher sea snake, that are less venomous subcutaneously than the inland taipan. So uh, the inland taipan still comes out as number one. Now, despite being the most venomous snake on earth, 
There's actually never been a human death from these guys as far as I can find. There has been a handful of bites. I can find records of about nine. And uh, only two of those took place in the wild. The rest of them were catchers and keepers. And uh, even the ones that happened in the wild weren't, you know, people walking to church and tripping over this guy. They were actually there catching uh, snakes. There were people looking for them. The reason being, for a start, these guys live in a very remote part of Australia. The chances of finding them by accident are slim to none. The chances of finding them if you're looking for them are slim to none. Because it's such a remote place and they spend so much time underground. So of those two bites that happened in the wild and several that have happened in captivity, including uh, this girl's past owner. She actually came into my care after her last owner was bitten and basically decided that um, he wanted to settle with something a little bit different. And uh, after 10 days on kidney dialysis, because you know, it's, it's a pretty serious bite, he's still up and around and doing all the things he used to be doing before. So there's certainly not a snake you want to mess with, but it goes to show when we say we've got the most venomous snakes on earth, we certainly don't have the most dangerous snakes on earth. It's not the same thing. Uh, how venomous they are has nothing to do with how treatable the bite is, how quickly it takes effect, all these sorts of things. It's just how little does it take to kill a mouse in a laboratory without first aid. So there you go, guys. The most venomous snake on earth. She doesn't have racing stripes or flames down her side, but I think she's absolutely beautiful nonetheless. Now, if you do like our videos, please do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and uh, leave us a comment. We always want to know what you guys want to see a video about. But uh, other than that, guys, please be nice to snakes. Check on back. Have a good one and take care.